Well, we have some great news regarding Dead by Daylight, ladies and gentlemen. It's kind of interesting because we've had leaks for Chapter 17 nearly straight on as Pyramid Head and the Silent Hill chapter was released a couple of weeks ago. Well, it looks like Chapter 18 may have been leaked as well. This is, of course, through all the data mining that currently goes on during the game. When people, when they release the PTB, the player test build, a lot of people go into the code, they try and find the information they can for future updates. So what we're going to take a look at, this is coming from Leaks by Daylight 2. They pretty much hit the nail on the head every single time they uh, release a leak. And this is what we got. Dead by Daylight leaks. Chapter 17 and Chapter 18 will both be licensed. Which is very, very intriguing. Because we normally have, over the last couple of years, June and September have normally been released as licensed. You know, last year we had Ghostface in June. This year we had Pyramid and Silent Hill. In September we had Stranger Things. This year we may have Candyman, who knows. But I'm still going for Candyman because that's who I want. And it's normally then December around there where we normally get an original character. Well, they've gone through the leaks and this is what we got. Last week I wrote an article in which I pointed out to you how the two characters of the next chapter, Dead by Daylight, Chapter 17, are, to date, both purchasable only with Oryx Cells. Obviously, Oryx Cells is when it's only for a licensed character, because normally you can spend 9,000 shards to get one of the original killers or survivors. But obviously, with this, when they only do cells, it shows that it is a licensed character. The same leak also occurred for Chapter 16 before the official reveal by Behaviour, which actually confirmed that the chapter would be licensed. A week later, therefore, we discover that not only Chapter 17 has characters that can be purchased only with cells, but also Chapter 18, the chapter coming out in December. Which, to be honest with you, if we already got information regarding December's chapter, that is absolutely crazy. Because over the last couple of uh, years, we've only seen bits and bobs or of leaks which are going to the next chapter, that is it. Obviously, with what's been going on in the world, they've probably had quite a bit of time to get on with it and be like, right, okay, we need to get the guys, you know, we need to get some good characters in because the fans are stuck at home or the majority were stuck at home and they need to have a good year. So this could be that and if that is true, I think that's awesome. So we're going to have a little look. These prices could simply be a placeholder as well and therefore could be updated by adding shards or whatever later on. But their question is, why not do it already? And so we're going to carry on with the actual leak. While you're assuming who these two new licensed chapters could be, I'll leave you with the price screens of chapter 17 and a chapter 18. And so here we are, we have chapter 17, which I did show before. So it says there, obviously, currency, sales, price, 500, and the ID is K21, which means it's Killer21, because we already got 20 killers at the moment. Underneath that, we have the currency, sales, price, 500, and the ID of S23, which is the 23rd survivor. Now, this is where it gets a little bit interesting, because of chapter 18... This is what we've actually got from the coding of the game. So we've got ID K22, Killer22. we got the granted IF3, which is false. But we have the name, the Rowell Slasher. Okay, that's very interesting. Keep that in your mind. Then we got default cost, Killer22, 500 cells. Then underneath, it's similar to what we got at the top. So we got Survivor24. The role is Camper. And obviously, as you can see at the bottom, currency ID is sales, price is 500. So, with that one there, could it be that we're getting Jason or we're getting a Friday the 13th character? Who knows? And again, which obviously is a whole who are going on at this moment in time regarding the legality of using Jason in multiple things. Because there's currently a court case going on between Victor Miller and Sean Cunningham, the people who created the very first Friday the 13th film. And Jason has been... 
he's at the center of the court case because Victor Miller, after the 30 years are up, he can actually go in and claim back the original character and say it is his. Well, obviously that's going on there, that's why there's been no update to the Friday the 13th video game, but having the role slasher and then having the role for the survivor as camper, come on, that's either a big, big red button false from behavior who are just having a bit of a laugh, bit, having a bit of a joke with everyone and saying, oh, they're all going to think it's Jason because we're saying this. But again, no, it could be. Or, which I don't think anyone has actually mentioned, it could be Pamela Voorhees, Jason's mother. She could be one of the killers. No one has actually thought of that yet. And obviously with the campers, it'll probably, you know, Tommy or someone like that. But uh, going back to chapter 17, I personally do hope it's Candyman. I've been waiting for Candyman now for a long, long time. And mostly because my theory in the last couple of videos was, in June, Candyman was meant to be released theatrically worldwide. But obviously with what's going on in the world with theatres closing and only just about opening up with very strict re-regulations in place, it was postponed. And obviously, I personally think that behaviour, they were going to release Candyman on June the 23rd. Sorry, June the 16th. Because June the 23rd, June 25th, sorry, I believe. So two days after the anniversary kicked off. Is when Candyman was meant to be released in theatres. So it would have been in the game and it would have been released in the theatre. But obviously it was pushed back to September. And obviously we got the new one now coming in September. And again, sadly, Candyman has been pushed back until October. This is t It's now taken the place of Halloween Kills. So, they may bring him out in September. Like, here we go, guys. This was meant to be when the film released. But we got Candyman for you now. Here we go. This, that, and the other. And we got a survivor, which probably would be Helen. The girl, well, the final girl, as they want to call it. The one who defeats him. And I really do hope that... We get Candyman, and if it's going to be Jason, great. Pamela Forey's great. But I'm still hoping out for Pinhead for myself. But I can't say because Camper and Slasher. Because they're not really a slasher film. But I hope this has actually brought some intriguing aspects to you. Let me know your theories down below and who you would want to see. And if you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates. And I'll see all you wonderful people soon.